Hey everybody, it's me, Daniel Hutchins, and today we are doing an article again from our friend Screen Rant. So today from Screen Rant, we're talking about Shazam 2. Yes, Shazam 2. So Shazam 2 will include the DC intro after the first film hasn't, confirms the director. Now, Shazam! Fury of the Gods director David F. Sandberg confirms the sequel will include the intro after he forgot to include it from the first film. This was from September 17th. So this is going way back. But I know that you guys probably were shaking your heads wondering, why am I doing this? Well, it's important information that I figure you guys should know. So on we go. So, Shazam! Fury of the Gods will feature the DC Films intro after the first Shazam! film did not. Now, according to director David F. Sandberg, as part of the DC Extended Universe, the first Shazam! movie hit theaters in April of 2019, and it was a modest hit for the franchise, grossing about $366 million worldwide and an estimated 80 to 100 million dollar budget. That was more than enough for Warner Brothers to warrant the sequel with Sandberg returning as director along with the writer and production of the sequel got underway in May of this year and wrapped up late last month. So based on the DC Comics character of the same name 2019 Shazam follows the teenager named Billy Batson who is chosen by their ancient wizard to be his new champion, granting him the ability to transform into an adult superhero by saying the magic name. Okay, so the film sees Billy team up with his foster brother to take down Dr. Savannah and the Seven Deadly Sins. Now the sequel will see Billy and his super-powered foster family Square off against the daughters of Atlas that are portrayed by a bunch of names I cannot pronounce. So I'm saving time and I'm just saying that. So, anyway. Okay. So, related to this article is Shazam 2 What the Fury of the Gods title means. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about something else. So, now Shazam Fury of the Gods director David F. Sandberg. Confirms that the film will include the DC intro after the first film, inexplicably not. Now, the director confirmed the news with a video from Instagram, as he appears to be screening an early cut of the film. Now, Sandberg says people freaked out when the first film didn't include the signature DC intro, so he's made sure to include it for the sequel. He went on the joke that by the time the film releases on June 2nd, 2023, DC could have a new logo or something. You can check out the post below. Okay, so it's on Instagram from this guy named Pony Smasher. Yeah, I know it's a weird name, but okay. The video is on Instagram from this guy named Pony Smasher. It has 15,000 likes. So, okay, so as Sandberg mentions, fans became frantic when Shazam released in 2019, and it didn't include the signature DC intro, the place before many of the DC Extended Universe films. Now, this animated sequence includes silhouettes of iconic DC heroes that we all know, capped off with the DC logo. Now, while fans have many theories about why Shazam omitted the intro, Sandberg later revealed that he simply forgot to include it. While some may find that hard to believe considering that DC, Warner Brothers, or anyone working on the film probably would have brought this to his attention, Sandberg claims that no one did. Even without the iconic intro, Shazam fared just fine at the box office. And now the highly anticipated sequel, Shazam! Fury of the Gods, is currently in its post-production. Fans can rest easy knowing the DC intro wasn't overlooked this time around. So there you go guys. That's just a little bit of some updates for you guys on Shazam 2. If you guys like this content, 
please slap that old good old thumbs up button. And you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'm probably going to be doing some more articles. Because, you know, with it being a Friday and all. So, I might do a few more videos throughout the day. So, see you in the next one. Bye.